Never says everything was completely consensual. He also released these text messages that came out in court indicating that you had planned the whole thing out. So I want to read some of these texts from you to a friend between the two of you before you met Trevor, this one. Next victim, star pitcher for the Dodgers. Okay. Victim is an interesting choice of words. I'm, I'm going to allow you a chance to explain yourself. But after you agreed to meet, you asked your friend what, should, what you should steal. Your friend answered his money. Uh, he says another one from you to a friend. I'm going to his house Wednesday. I already have my hooks in. You know how I roll with a screenshot in which you told him tryouts don't scare me, Bauer. Pick a day and I am there. Here are some more after you and Trevor met up. Net worth is 51 million to which your friend responds. Bitch, you better secure that bag. Your text need daddy to choke me out being an absolute whore to try to get in on his 51 million. You say this wasn't a setup. How can you expect anyone to believe that? The Me Too movement is nothing like it is said. It is now a war against men. It is no longer a secret that women use Me Too for different purposes. It is now the new source of income for women who can just get themselves attractive enough to catch the attention of the men they plan to ruin. In 2016, it was said that 7,000 sexual harassment cases were filed and 82% of the accusers are women. Looking at what modern women have done with Me Too, divorce and feminism while playing innocent, one can easily conclude that modern women are the greatest con artists alive. I am actually perplexed by the situation. They say never let a woman accuse you, everything you say after makes you more guilty. Many successful men are down today because of women's sexual accusations, which are largely false. Modern women use false accusations as a source of income. As of 2020, 20.4 20 million Americans have been falsely accused. 16% of the accusations are sexual assault, and 62% of cases have women as the accuser. Countless men have been stripped of everything they've built because modern society champions these women's causes. All it takes is a tearful video from them, and suddenly, a man's life screeches to a halt. Even in the absence of proof, even before guilt is established, he's already hemorrhaging everything he's labored for. It's a sickening display of power imbalance, where a woman's crocodile tears hold more sway than a man's innocence. This isn't justice, it's a travesty, a disgraceful manipulation of the system that leaves shattered lives in its wake. And it's about time we raged against this injustice, with all the fury it deserves. Mike Tyson was greeted at his door at one o'clock in the morning by a woman. He then... Well, we don't, we don't need to go through the case again. It's ridiculous. The woman was dancing at eight o'clock, and this guy's in jail for six years. I don't understand it. I think it's wrong. I think... Yeah, it, but the I process think of law well prevailed, so... The four people that come to mind are Johnny Depp, Trevor Bauer, and Benjamin Mendy. Women target the successful men the men that will garner attention and throw a spotlight on them so that they can get more pity. The worst case about this is that it's not just women that these men find online, it also comes from their partners and even girlfriends. We live in a world where the only thing it needs to bring a man down from any height is just a woman. Saying he did this to me, he did that to me. Johnny Depp lost everything, all his roles and upcoming projects. Everyone turned their back on him, as soon as they heard the accusation, he had not even gotten a chance to prove himself innocent. That is the world we live in, and women are now using this to deal with men because there is no grievous consequence, even if the truth is found out. Mr. Depp, have you ever physically assaulted Miss Heard? Never. Have you ever sexually assaulted Miss Heard? Never. Certainly not. What have you lost as a result of Miss Heard making these allegations against you? Nothing less than everything. Nothing less than everything. The second the allegations were made against me, the accusations, the second that more and more these things, as I said, metastasized and turned into fodder for the media. Many of these women 
are after the compensatory damages, and if Johnny Depp has not won the case, he might be the one paying the $10 million Amber Heard was ordered to pay. That's what a man who has literally lost everything would have had to pay. Johnny Depp's case is an entirely different case, seeing that the guilty was the one accusing the innocent. Amber Heard has abused Johnny Depp in different scenarios, and there are speculations that she even cheated on him. Despite all of that, Johnny kept his cool until she decided that that was not enough to do to him. Taking away everything he had worked for will satisfy her. So women just sit down and plan out how to bring a man down to take from his money, which she has no idea how he got. A man invites a girl for fun and consensual intercourse her, and after she leaves, she fantasizes about how she can get more out of the man, and she then chooses the most cruel way, which is falsely accusing him. Another person who has gotten caught up in this trap is Trevor Bauer. He was the pitcher for the LA Dodgers, and in sincerity, this situation makes me pity men. Trevor Bauer was falsely accused by a woman from Arizona, whom they had both had something together, and it sure cost him a lot, because he was initially suspended from MLB for 324 games until an arbitrator got the ban reduced to 194 games. He was suspended in April 2022 over allegations of sexual assault, which resulted in him missing the entire 2022 regular season after previously being put on administrative leave in July 2021. I am going to share the story behind the allegations. This woman in question accused Trevor of beating and sexually assaulting her in 2021 on different occasions, and it's shameful that nobody listened to him. Even MLB didn't bother to look further into the situation. This is women's modern weapon of bringing men down for their money. You could rob someone and leave them their career and public image, but women want to ruin everything. And it's shameful that the truth only gets out after the harm has been done. And then, there is about only quarter of the people that heard the lies that hears the truth. Trevor says everything was completely consensual. He also released these text messages that came out in court indicating that you had planned the whole thing out. So I want to read some of these texts from you to a friend between the two of you before you met Trevor, this one. It's funny how all of this got out and nobody is saying anything about it in 2024. It's pretty obvious that this is not the first time she has been doing this to men, looking for successful men, and I am not sure that anything has been done to her. Where's the empathy for men? What does society gain from the going down? Of men from grace to grass, Benjamin Mendy, an ex-player of Manchester City, got his own share of the dark parade of Me Too. With tears in his eyes, footballer Benjamin Mendy walks free, cleared of rape and the attempted rape of two women. Mendy was charged with four counts of rape and one count of sexual assault and remanded in custody. While he was in custody, Mendy was charged with three more counts of rape, and as is the norm, he was suspended by Man City. I presume that all these women who accuse him of rape were the women who came to one of his parties, and they had consensual intercourse later, but no cares. What an accused man has to say. Ex-Man City player. Benjamin Mendy got lucky to have his evidence considered, or else he would have gotten a jail term. Men who've achieved success, find themselves walking on eggshells, constantly dodging interactions with women. They dare not engage in any semblance of socializing, lest they fall victim to baseless accusations of sexual assault or rape, all under the dark shadow of the MEB2 movement. Celebrities and sports stars have borne the brunt of this insidious trend, their careers shattered by mere allegations from women they once shared innocent moments with. Guilt by accusation, the challenge of proving innocence in the age of Me Too, succinctly captures the harrowing reality faced by men in today's justice system. No man is safe. All it takes is a single accusation, a fleeting encounter, and their lives are irreparably destroyed. The burden of proof lies heavily on their shoulders, with innocence an elusive concept in the eyes of a society quick to condemn. The result? Incarceration and the decimation of careers loom, all at the whim of a woman's accusation. This is the sorry state of our society, where the Me Too movement and so-called women's rights have turned innocent men into prey. There's no chance to defend yourself, no opportunity 
to clear your name before being trampled by the relentless onslaught of accusations. It's as simple as the alphabet. Steering clear of these women is not just advisable, it's imperative for survival. A man's very existence hangs in the balance, at the mercy of a woman hungry for money, fame, power, or simply bent on destroying lives. This is not justice, it's a savage game where men are the sacrificial lambs, and it's high time we screamed our outrage from the rooftops. That's all for today on Manhood, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to show your support, thank you for being here, and see you in the next one.